Physiotherapists help millions of Australians every year. They help manage pain and chronic disease and increase mobility and function to improve health and well-being. Put simply, physiotherapists help Australians of all ages improve their quality of life. Physiotherapy is cost-effective, evidence-based healthcare. It's hard to put a price tag on quality of life. Health and well-being really are priceless. But with finite levels of funding in our health system, it's important to determine the economic value physiotherapy provides. We have defined our value in costs against benefits to show the true value of our interventions. In defining value, quality of life is important. Everyone wants it, but how do you measure it? In an independent study, NOWS Group calculated the impact of physiotherapy interventions. Here's how they did it. Firstly, they calculated the benefits to patients. They measured the improvement in quality of life from peer-reviewed clinical trials, then used accepted official methods to work out the value of better health in dollar terms. Then they factored in costs, like the cost of delivering the service, the cost of the patient's time, and the avoided costs of other treatments. The outcome of this work is that we can estimate a dollar value of the benefits of physiotherapy, so everyone can better understand its impact. So what is the economic value that physiotherapy provides in Australia? 11 interventions were examined across a range of life events and stages. Let's look closer at five of these, starting with osteoarthritis. One in 11 Australians live with its debilitating effects. As the most common form of arthritis, it is the main reason for knee and hip replacement surgeries in Australia. Let's look at the net benefit of physiotherapy for a person with knee and hip osteoarthritis. Firstly, the average cost of treatment is $4,860, while the average quality of life gains is worth $8,630, which in real terms is an average net benefit of $3,770 to the patient. Now let's move on to chronic neck pain. Almost 3.5 million Australians live with chronic pain. Health system costs, productivity losses, and other costs amount to $7.3 billion annually. For a person with chronic neck pain, the average cost of physiotherapy is $1,980. But the average quality of life gains is $5,400, making it a net benefit of $3,420 for the patient. Next, on to falls prevention. Did you know that one in three Australians aged 65 and over fall each year, making it the leading cause of deaths for this age group? Physiotherapy reduces these risks through targeted strength and balance training. Now let's look at the net benefit of falls prevention. Firstly, the average cost of physiotherapy for falls is $1,680, while the average quality of life gains is $3,000, making it an average net benefit of $1,320 for the patient. Moving on to back pain, which affects more than 4 million Australians. Back pain is the second leading cause of disease burden in Australia and the most prevalent condition in the workforce. So what is the net benefit for a person with back pain? Firstly, the average treatment cost is $1,060, while the average quality of life gains is $7,120 making it a net benefit of $6,060. It's a bit of a no-brainer, really. But let's move on to non-surgical interventions. Did you know that 80% of patients referred to orthopaedic outpatient services can be managed without surgery? Non-invasive physiotherapy is a cost-effective option with an average cost of just $130 for a patient in a hospital screening program and the average quality of life gains is $9,930, making it a net benefit of $9,800. This research proves what we already knew. Physiotherapy provides cost-effective healthcare. With resource pressures on our entire health system, this shows the true value of physiotherapy. And more importantly, it helps people get the most out of life. And we all know that's priceless. <laughs>